you want to connect more than one accessory to your camera, maybe a microphone or a monitor, you need to get yourself a camera cage. So today we're going to have a look at this small rig black Mamba for my Panasonic GH6 and this nice little wooden handle. Let's have a look at how it works. So full disclosure, I uh, was sent an email from Small Rig and they basically asked me, let us know if there's any equipment you would like to test and review. And as I just purchased the Panasonic GH6 and I wanted to have a camera cage for that camera, I asked them to send me the cage and a wooden handle and they did that. However, no money has been exchanged here. They do not watch this video before it's online. So this is my honest review. This video is not sponsored by Small Rig. However, this video has got a sponsor, which is Artlist. Artlist is where I get my music and sound effects from. Stick around until the end if you want to find out how you can get two months for free if you sign up using my link below. If I connect more than one accessory to my camera, for example, the monitor and a microphone, it just becomes very unstable and almost impossible to work with, even when it's stationary. So after getting the black Mamba camera cage for my Panasonic GH6 and the wooden handle, everything has changed because my whole setup has become so nice and tidy. I can connect so many accessories at the same time. And the first thing that struck me me is how intelligently designed the cage is. For example, they have placed the hot shoe over here so you can easily connect your external microphone. And if you don't have this top handle, you can also still connect the monitor directly to the camera's hot shoe or cold shoe. I always mix them up. And the microphone will not stay in the way. So you don't need to have the top handle if you purchase the camera cage. However, I do prefer it as you can get nice low shots if you have the handle. And of course, you can still connect your monitor because there is a hot shoe or cold shoe right here on the black Mamba, as you can see right here. And they have this little button, so it makes sure that your monitor will not slide off. So apart from the top handle, which you can mount obviously on the top, or you can even do it on the side so you can have vertical video shots while you hold the top handle, in case you do videos for TikTok or Instagram, uh, at least you have the option, which is great. And through the top handles, there's obviously a lot more connections and holes where you can connect other accessories if you need to. I mean, my setup would usually be the monitor, the audio transmitter, which is now on my uh, A camera, let's call it that. And if I'm on the go and I have a client, I still can connect on the wooden handle because there is a hot shoe there as well. What I can then do is connect this little guy feeds from the monitor to the wireless transmitter. And like this, I can walk around and the client has access. They can see what I am filming on their monitor because I'm using this video transmitter. So this would be my maxed out rig. You can also connect rods where you can connect like a mat box. I have this old guy that I can connect if I want to, but I do prefer to have everything in the same brand. So I know that it's kind of made to work together. And speaking of the rods and mat box, this is not like a professional advice, it's just like a tip and trick. Most of us that have been making films or commercials for a period of time, we all started out maybe like you with a small cheaper camera and a very common way to hide that it's a small, maybe even a little bit cheap camera. Just having a camera cage and the mat box and everything, you kind of disguise that your camera is a little bit cheaper. The camera might be fantastic. The camera might shoot 4K slow motion and all of those things. But trust me, if a client sees that you're coming with a small DSLR camera, they might be like, is this it? So you can disguise it with a camera cage and mat box if you need to. And just a little uh, tip from me. Filmmaker, me. Water break. Apart from the cage, the handle, uh, you also have this guy here that basically you can connect the HDMI or the USB cable. And using this thing, 
you can make sure that the cables are tightly secured and they won't come off. So it's like an added security. You can remove this if you want to. Um, I prefer to have it there. So I know that the cable will always stay nice and snug and won't come off. Oh, and furthermore, when you buy the cage and the handle for that matter, there is no instruction included. I mean, obviously it's a camera cage. There's not too many mysterious things with it. The more I checked it, the more surprised I got because a very cool hidden detail here is this guy. I mean, this is a Allen key for the different Allen screws on the cage itself. And you have the flat head as well, where you can easily then connect or disconnect the cage if you need to. And obviously you can also connect this, as mentioned, to another plate. Instead of looking for your coin or knife, I don't wear a knife, this guy is always with you and it's magnetic. So you just slide it there and you have it. Similar with the handle, when I uh, opened it, I was like, oh no, this key won't fit. Uh, it's, it's not the same screws uh, on the handle compared to the rest of the cage. I found the little Allen key hidden there as well. Exceptionally clever design, it just slides back inside and Again, it's magnetic, so it's not gonna come out. Speaking of the sign, you also have the screws here, which connects the handle to the cage. And it's designed in the way that you put the Allen key inside where you can really tighten it or untighten it so that you make sure it will not come off. The same with the camera cage. On the top handle here, again, you put this guy there and tighten it as much as you can and it's going to stay on faux show. The small rig camera cage will not cover any of the buttons on the camera. You still have access to absolutely everything and very important for filmmakers, you do have access to the battery slots, let's call it that, and you can change the battery without removing the cage. And the same goes with the memory cards. Everything has been thought through because small rig has many years of experience making camera cages and they have thought of absolutely everything in my point of view. So once you have the cage in your hand, uh, it's nice and firm. This wooden handle is something that you need to get yourself, especially if you shoot handheld, because you just get an amazing grip on your camera. And you also have nicely designed mold on the right side as well. And it just feels very stable. And since this Panasonic GH6 has a very good IBIS built in, when you use this setup, you're gonna get exceptionally stable footage. The camera cage itself is very lightweight, so you can easily mount it on, for example, a slider or a gimbal. The weight is not gonna uh, change drastically because it is very lightweight. The cool thing about small rig is that it's, let's call it modular. You don't have to start off buying everything at the same time. If you want to start out only with the cage, you do have the option of buying the cage. You can add the top handle later, the Black Mamba version, as they call it. And of course, handle, if you don't want to purchase that on the get-go, you can add that afterwards and just build out the camera. That's something that I'm gonna do. I'm, I would love to get myself the rods and the mat box from Small Rig, but I didn't want to spend all that money at one go. I can add it on maybe a monthly basis, you know, and start to build out my little Panasonic GH6 so it becomes a full-blown professional cinema camera. Now, let's just say thank you to Artless for sponsoring this video. All of the music used in this video and sound effects, you know, those snake sounds and jungle sounds, in all the videos that I have been making on YouTube, I'm using Artlist. And also for my commercial work. They have thousands of song and sound effects to choose from, and they're all very high quality. You do have the option of signing up for a personal plan and pay on a monthly basis in case you only have your own YouTube channel, TikTok channel, Instagram, and so on. So if you do sign up using the link below, you're gonna get two additional months for free thanks to our guys at Artlist. Now I'm gonna watch Obi-Wan Kenobi. See you in the next one. Peace.